Hello everyone welcome to Mir's channel. Today I'm bringing you our brand new industrial grade evaluation kit. The MYD LD 25X. It is based on the STM32 MP 25X series processors, an industrial grade application chip that integrates two Cortex A35 at 1.5 GHz and one Cortex M33 at 400 MHz. It has 1.35 TOPS NPU. This development board is packed with many hardware interfaces. It has 3 gigabit ethernets, 2 USB 2.0 hosts, 1 audio input, output connector, 1 LVDS, 1 HDMI and 1 MIPCSI. And it has a micro SD card slot on the back of the board. To access more download resources, you can go to the Mir Developer Center, register an account and log in. On the product list webpage, you can view the basic information of all our products and download these files to your local device or browse them online. If you have purchased our product, please browse the My Products webpage, enter the PN and SN codes and add the product. In this way, you can download our software and hardware resources online. We use Ubuntu PC as host to preparing developing host environment. Just input the following commands. Then, install the cross-compile tool chain. Now, we start to compile. Start a new clean shell to compile the system with Yocto. Set the dial switch to download mode. Use a USB to TTL serial cable connect the PC and the development board. 
How are the development board using a USB Type-C 5 volt 3 ampere power supply? Connect it to J1 interface. Run the STM32Q programmer software installed on the Windows platform. Select USB burning mode. Click connect button to connect. Go to the specified directory that contains the binaries and the flash layout files. Different storage devices require corresponding configuration files. Take eMMC storage as an example. Click the open file to locate to the default configuration file directory. Then select the default eMMC layout file. Go to the Browse button and select the folder name where the flash image layout is located. Then clicking on Download button. And it will start to update files. It takes longer to download the system. Please be patient. For other storage devices, such as NAND flash or TF card, there are the same update steps as above. Turn off the power switch. Set the dial switch to EMMC boot mode. Power on the board. Open the console and you can see the boot log. Keep following us and we will continue to provide more tech guide videos.